right guys, we're back in our PHP. We're going to be doing control flow with if and else statements by the looks of it. So let's get going. So uh, on line 8, use a comparison operator to compare two numbers. So uh, we have all our operators here. They work pretty much how you would think it would work. Um, we'll say 1 is plus than 2, semicolon, save and submit. Again, we're having some trouble with our PHP. Um, I'm going to refresh the page and see because it looked like our operator was affecting. See how it uh, cancels this out? We actually, I think we actually need this at least one space. All right, so we have some items here. Uh, we want to set items greater than a number five. Um, so our items variable. So then we have an if statement saying if items semicolon two. And we'll say if the items is less than five, you get a ten percent discount. So in this case, we want to change it to greater, and this should print out. You get a 10% discount. So we're going to add save and submit. Bam, we get a 10% discount. Pretty much just a simple if-else statement, as you would expect with almost any programming language. So under the if statement on line 12, Write an else statement to capture people who are only buying five items or fewer. In their case, put an echo. Echo out. So, all right, so we're going to be doing exactly what we're, we did a second ago. So, we're going to say if uh, cash money items is less than five, remember we need space for this, we want it to echo out. You get a five percent discount. All right, uh, save and submit, and because items is equal to three. Oh, um, it wanted us to use else, so else, and then we don't need to do this. So, there you go. What's going on here? Else Echo, you get a 5% discount. So, there's that, there's that. All right, let's refresh, and then we will. I'm going to actually reset the code. As you see, it's working right here. This is throwing me off a little. Let's do this. Let's try it one more time. All right, now it works. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the issue is. On the it might have something to do with the browser or something else, but uh. It's more importantly, you understand the concept. So if, if your condition is true, your code should echo if the condition is true. All right, so in this case, we're going to say uh, condition equals 2. And then we'll say if if uh, condition is equal to 2.
we want to echo out the condition is true. Else echo out the condition is false. Here can show how there is false so programming prints out the condition itself. Oh, so we want uh, we'll set this not equal to two. Or actually, this would make more sense just to change this. So uh, we wanted to print out the condition is false. So there it goes. Uh, let's see, I believe we're right again. Oops. Got an end, and now it should work. There we go. So we're going to share this as we typically do. And that was the introduction of conditionals and control flow for uh, if and else statements. Next section will be control flow with switches. So, see you guys next time.